Good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night. If you're... Yeah, welcome. My name is Mr. Charles. I am an IT teacher. I am here to teach you IT. Uh, specifically SBA. SBA stuff. For the past few weeks, I have been working out all the different parts of the ITSB, and if you haven't seen those videos yet, then you should click on the playlist inside this in the description of this video, and that playlist will have uh, basically everything that you need to work out the SBA. So, yeah, if you're on this channel, I will what is causing the problem um yeah okay so yeah tonight my stream given some some issues so if you if you encounter issues while I'm streaming um just bear with it until um until I sort it out, because sometimes, sometimes the stream, like just now I couldn't stream um, Among Us properly because it was lagging out, so. Tonight, we are going to do questions, question and answer about the SBA. Why SBA? Because... Uh, you need to understand how to answer the questions for the SBA. So, Faith, my week was good. Um, I was teaching, had fun teaching, and usually teaching is the high point of my week. you've been here from the start you deserve um you deserve a chocolate syllabus 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 right okay all right so let's see what y'all anybody has any questions about the sba specific things that you want to know things that you heard that are rumors things that may not be clear to you anything like that let me see if i could um clear this up because from um next week um next week i'm gonna start to do other work work on different topics so Let's hear it. Specific questions about the SBA. Alright, Faith, go ahead. You have a question? Uh, let me hear what your question is. Faith. And um, I'll try to answer it for you. I will do my very best to answer. If you are um, interested in... Um, Alright, so in the access part, query 3, the method you showed isn't working. Um, query 3, the access part, the method you showed isn't working. Um, back up, as your name, back up. The method I showed isn't working, query 3 for the SBA, for the sample SBA. Are there other ways? Alright, let's see if I'll find it here. Where's the sample SBA by it? So I'll find the sample SBA first. Sample SBA is Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, so which part are you talking about? Um which part are you talking about backup? Queries number three. Using a calculated field, determine the votes cast in each constituency. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. 
using a calculated field determine the total votes cast in each constituency um query three okay let me see if i could find that where well, i have the isp i have it somewhere here you try not to get busted <laughs> Don't worry, it's a sample SB, so you could you could ask any question you want, but alright. Sample SB. Alright, so let's go. All right, so what query three is supposed to be? Query three is supposed to be, um, this number of votes cast um is constituency by percentage voter turnout. All right. So what you need to do is you need to run a query that has um, these fields, constituency name, number of voters in constituency, and percentage voter turnout. Oh, I think um, I think I remember what happened here. In the percentage voter turnout um, field, right, you need to go and format it a particular way so that I actually get the percentage percentage voter turnout all right so what's the design view of this table like elections the first one is elections data table right you see that table called elections data table when you go in design view and you go by percentage voter turnout you have to format it as number but you have to make sure you change the, you change the field size to double and take it away from long integer because when you change it to um double you will get the um you will get the 0.75 coming up in the table. Because if you do change it to double, this 0.75 here wouldn't register, so you wouldn't get the actual percentage. So when you go by percentage, go turn out, go to design view, and change the field size from long integer to double. And then um, that will get the 0.75. And then when you go back to this query, when you get the total votes created, you'll put number of voters in constituency multiplied by percentage vote turnout. That will now give you the correct answer because it'll be multiplying the 0.75 by the number of voters in the constituency. And that should save you, save you the trouble. So you'll actually get a number here. All right, back up. That, 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 that answers the question. I can't zoom in on access, so it's kind of hard for me to show you, but you could look at it. Look at it kind of clearly and see. Yeah, y'all, if you hear the audio cutting out is because um, I think I have some some issues tonight. I don't know what causing it, but I don't really have time to double check every single thing. All right, back up that answers your question. I hope it does. All right, cool. You're welcome. All right, Faith, what you said? Let me see. Faith said, when I try to redo my relationships, I delete it and do a fresh one. It's not working. It comes back the same way. All right, Faith, with the relationships, um, when you go to the relationships, you need to make sure that you're always going from a primary key to a non-primary key, a foreign key. If you don't do that then you will end up with problems because the middle of this um the middle of this database is supposed to have cons the constituency data table which is the name number and number of votes 
So you must always drag from primary key onto uh, um, onto the foreign key, and you'll get a one to to many relationship. One to many. What what exact error message again face when you when you do it? Um, Kanisha McKinnon. Um, Kanisha, what uh, what you might have to do if you don't understand the queries. When you say you don't under understand the queries, Kanisha, you mean you don't understand the queries at all? If you have no clue how to do queries, then you have to go to the go to the playlist and watch the um. Watch the I'll see what I find it for you. I'll put the play. No, one of them mods will find the um the players for you. Geo or Javish or one of them will find or, or Ren will find the mod the, the players for you. Inside our playlist have databases from start to finish. So you could go through that and you'll see if you understand databases after that. So um try that and see. Alright, so answering questions, any questions about the SBA that you may have, anything that not working properly, I'll either show you it now, work it out for you, or I'll send you a video that I have that will clear it up for you. Whichever one you want. Um So let me know. All right, so that is feed question. Kanisha, Kanisha, I didn't finish getting your answer. I mean, I didn't get what was giving you problems. Anybody else has problems? Anybody else has a question that they that they need answer? If you have a question, ask it now. I'm going to share the playlist with you. No. Yeah. Right, so that playlist there have everything to do with um with the SBA. It has sample SBAs, it have it have the sample SBA. We have Word, Excel, Access, Programming, yeah. whatever you could think of, it's there. And if you do have the syllabus and the specimen paper, all that will be in your description. Ramesh, which part of the database part um database section of ESP you don't you don't understand? You need to tell me where because if you say you don't understand anything at all, then you had to you had to go and watch the videos I did from before. Because I have videos for everything. Alright, Shania, for my Excel component of ESB, I'm required to rank the total number of sales for laptop brands in ascending order. The cells under rank in the worksheet all have different numbers from 1 to 10, right? After doing this, I need to sort the worksheet by rank in ascending order. But when I do this, the cells under the rank column are no longer the same. Multiple cells have the same numbers. Alright. Alright, Shania, I think I understand what's going on with you there. Let me see if I could... Um, See if I can recreate your situation. So what you're seeing is you have a set of information. Um of laptop brands. Um Alright, so let me say you have like this. Alright, should I just tell me uh, as I go along if I have it correct, right? So Yeah, that's something like this. Um Ramesh, if you don't know anything at all in databases, then you need to go and watch the playlist and you watch watch your three database videos I have, and then you'll understand the databases a little better. Uh, because I have three videos that totally go through everything in databases and 
if you need to understand databases quickly play this in the um in the chat and go and watch that now and you will see the databases right all right so shania um we have name and total total sales formatting your form yeah faith we have a video to for uh, the form is um which form the form in um in databases total um all right all right so do you know what i right now for my excellent component of VSB, I'm required to rank the total number of sales for laptop brands in ascending order. The cells under rank in the worksheet all have different numbers, 1 to 10. Okay, so to do a rank, you have to do equal rank, right? Now, the first thing that has to happen with the rank is that you have to click... Um, you have to click the cell that you want to check. The next thing you have to do is you have to select the range of values that you want to check by, which is this here. But because the range of values, you don't want it to move, you don't want it to move at all, you're going to have to use a um, fill handle to, to pull it down. But you don't want these numbers to change. You want these numbers to stay the same. That's why you're putting the dollar signs. The dollar signs will lock these cells in place every time. And once you lock them in place, it will check this number against all the other numbers. That's why you're seeing this one in blue and the others in red. So it's checking this number against all the other numbers. So once you do that once, it should work. And then you have to fill handle down like that. And that will get you the rank. All right, Shania following me, following me there so far. Show it one more time. Click on this rank and I'm choosing whatever cell that I want to check the rank for and then I'll need to select all the val the range of values that I'm going to be using for the rank to take place and after easy dollar sign it will rank and then you pull it down and it will do that and then to sort it in ascending order it has highlight all of them sort and filter custom sort and then we sort in by rank smallest or largest and then it will go one to five one to whatever all right shania you good without it all right question answered for shania well done great i feel so accomplished now um i should need where do you want to chat boy right good here okay all right, Faith, what you said to add a subform and formatting given problems when you're finished. All right, Faith, for the subform to work, the subform can't work unless the relationships are done properly. If the relationships aren't done properly, then the subform won't work, won't work um, good. So let me show you what will happen. When I create the form, let's say I want to create the form from constituency, Faith, no, constituency data table, right, okay. So let me do the constituency data table and I'll create a form from that, right? So I go create and then I click form. Now once you have once you've once you've done the relationship properly, Shana, you're, you're welcome. Don't be a stranger. Come back anytime. Um click form and you will get it and you will get the subform because the relationships were done properly. Once the relationship's done properly, you'll get subforms coming up easily like this. So I'll show you again. Choose one of the forms, I mean, choose one of the tables, any one of the table, like constituency data table, right? Any one of the tables that has the little plus sign, that will give you the subform when you create it. So look for the table that has the little plus sign. If the relationships are done properly, then you will get the plus sign coming up. If the relationships not done properly, you won't get the plus sign coming up. So now that the relationships are done properly, when you go to click on constituency data table and you click on um, create form 
ALS automatically put the sub form for you because whatever was in the little plus will come out there and you shouldn't you shouldn't have much of a problem with that now all right fit that should answer your question let's see what other questions we have mm. good um yeah ramesh want to watch your videos okay anybody else question while i'm here answering for anybody who needs help hey i forget to show you when i was um i was working so hard i see i was working so hard to make my stream nice tonight for among us that i just kind of i forget that i was supposed to do this when we when we whenever we discussing something i was gonna play this the lie again lie 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 the lie again lie 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 but then the stream didn't work i i was so vexed Um. Oh look, look, look! Um, Mr. Williams here. Okay, so I say the sub form is one of the biggest problems, one of the big problem areas here. Cause I think the real, the root issue of the sub form is that um, um, the 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 real issue with the sub form is that people don't do the relationships properly. So when you do the when you don't do your relationships properly, you just get issues, you get problems. And if the relationship's not done properly, then the table wouldn't have the um the sub form ability. So even if you create a form, it won't give you the option for sub form because it just doesn't have any sub data to use. So the real key with the um sub form is to make sure the relationship's done properly. For those of you all watching in the future. Um, so I have to select a specific table given from my SBA thing. Um, okay. Well, depending on the SBA, you, have, you will have a, a, a specific table I have to do it from. So you have to make sure that that table, the relationships are done properly. So let's say, for example, they say that you have to do um you have to do the sub form from the something whatever table it is um well your relationships have three tables so so the three tables related kind of like this here something like this faith it will look something like that if the relationships are looking something like this then um yes you could have the relationship with three tables that would be a problem all you have to do is remember, you have to go from primary key to non-primary key, aka foreign key. So you have to go from primary key in one table to the foreign key in another table. Always remember that. So I came from the primary key here to the foreign key here, but because you can't join primary key to primary key, because then the subtable wouldn't work properly. Ramesh, the only sample um, of the SBA I have is the, the one that's in the syllabus. The um these the sample one has any syllabus which is this the selections one here. The selection one here is um this is a sample SBA. So that's the only one I worked out because this is the sample as any syllabus. Um fit where said that's what it did. Okay. So faith the table that you have to use, just make sure that the relationship say the many. If it's not saying one to many, then it's highly unlikely that you that you'll get the um that you'll get the sub form to look like um have the data inside there and any sub form coming up in between. That's only happen when you when the relationships are probably. 
if you're still having problem faith because you because you've been such a, a faithful um participant on the stream dm me on instagram and i will um i'll see if i could see what your what your problem is but of course go to your teacher first to, um, What happened to the mic, Javish? Oh, holy, I need check noise. Why? Well, I wish I could tell you what was in there right now. I don't know. Right now, I just come home today and my microphone giving trouble. Why? I don't know. Oh, how to switch microphones? Yeah. Faith, yeah, message that WhatsApp number there and it'll get on to you. If you still need help, the WhatsApp number that I see in like down here, the bottom. Yeah. Um, and my teacher just dropped that on us and jumped to web page design. Well, just if you're, if you're not understanding the databases part, watch over the video that I did on databases. I kind of explain the um, I explain the relationships in depth. You need to get the one to many. If you do get the one to many, then the the form would work properly. But if you um, I can't I can't I can't say. I can't speak for your teacher, but sometimes, sometimes when you say the, um, I have a WhatsApp group in the description. No, I don't have a WhatsApp group in the, in the description. What are you talking about, Jaden? I don't have a WhatsApp group for uh, four point five. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you 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 will say that your teacher didn't do something, and then when you go and ask the teacher, this is what your teacher does say. The lie again, lie, 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 lie. Cause it's how it's how some teachers uh, they'll do the work, but the students don't come to class, and then when they when they come to class after. You'll get vexed because you weren't in class when the teacher did that particular topic. And they would just be like, what's that? I never taught that. Don't ever, don't ever say that I didn't teach something. Like, especially for me. If a student in my class come and say, sir, you never teach that. I'll be like, what? Excuse? I didn't teach something? The lie again. Lie, 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 lie. I, I ain't going through that. Alright, anybody else? Any questions? Okay. Let me see what's going on with the chat here. Um... Sun come back again. Yeah, I'll fix it. At an, I'll, I can't. I can't stop the stream to fix it. I'll have to. Um, I'll have to unplug it and plug it back in, which will cause a problem on the stream. I'm sure. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna try and unplug the microphone and see what happens.
Uh, look, yeah, right, come back out now. All right, yeah, back, back out now. All right, so it's sounding better. You know, it's gone. No, I purposefully unplugged the mic just for um because y'all y'all said you were here and a noise, so I unplugged the mic to see if I could stop the noise. I think it's um if you hear any noise, let me know, cause I don't know why I just decided to behave bad. It's probably because I have our next mic waiting here. I have um, I have a, I have our next mic waiting to plug in. So it started to get jealous. It's like, what? You're going to replace me? Oh no. How dare you? I'm going to act up tonight. And tonight the mic was acting up for real, for real. Like, I don't know why. Yeah, so time to time to plug in the new mic. <laughs> From next week, I'll be using this. Um, was I asked, if I did anything with SQL? No, I didn't do any SQL videos yet. SQL is only been Unit 2 IT, but I haven't really done much Unit 2 IT videos yet. But I'll probably get to that soon. By, by January, I'll start to upload videos from, um, from SQL and different parts of stuff. But yeah, SQL you will be doing in um in UE will be a little a little advanced. So I don't know if what I do will help you, but you'll get there. All right. So the noise is back. Okay, cool. I feel the noise is OBS. Yeah. Hmm. I have no idea. Yeah, the Mike Vex are going to replace him next week. He's no longer, he's no longer going to be my main Mike. Oh, poor guy. Didn't make it. All right, so any questions about the SP again? Um... Look, Mr. Williams here is asking you all a question. Any particular instruction in ESP you feel is particularly vague or usually misinterpreted by students? Yes. Yes, let me tell you. Let me tell you where. It's not misinterpreted by students. It's misinterpreted by students and teachers. Um, you see this part here. Um, that's not, I, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, faces always have a lag in comments. That's YouTube, I can't stop that. YouTube, YouTube doesn't stream in real time. Yeah. All right. So you see, you see this part here, um, Mr. Williams, Christopher. See this part here. Appropriate use use of text. Appropriate use of graphics. This this had a few students kind of like. So, how much text I have to put, or how much graphics I have to put? What is appropriate use? So like if you include graphics and text, it's cool. So um some teachers or some students will just be like, all right, so I need to make sure that the text matches the theme of the um of the SBA, right? And I need to make sure the graphics matches the theme of the SBA. And I was like, yeah, that's most likely what it means. But when it says appropriate, it's kind of vague and, and, and not exactly clear in, in most students' minds, especially when I give them the layout of the um the SB and they reach this part this is the first question they ask. So what is appropriate? How appropriate is appropriate? What needs to be put in? And I have to tell them more than likely you have to make sure that your text matches the theme and make sure your picture matches the theme. So you can have a SB about a football team and you're displaying a baseball bat. That wouldn't be appropriate. So you wouldn't get any marks. 
But if there could be some sort of qualifier or qualification for this, that would that would be nice. Because it um the web page graphics part not really um um clear per se. Um the layout suitable for internet audience, yeah, that's cool, nah, no no I see there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah. I know the mic have an issue. Gosh, how much time is I gonna say? Yes, I know the mic has an issue. Only I'm gonna just change the mic in the middle of the stream. Would you like me to just do that? I could do that, you know, it would be a little weird. So, just understand how Murphy works in, in weird ways. Murphy will just decide, all right, cool, I'll just, you know, not work today. Next thing that, um, usually has a little issue is, um, yeah, I think that's the only thing I, I think that's, um, is ambiguous. It's clear. Um. Yeah, everything else is cool. All right, since nobody else have any questions, I'm going to change my mic live, right? Just because you all want to see, want to see what will happen when you try to change the mic live. So I'm going to unplug the old mic and put in a new one. Well, you hear me there? You hear me? Um, filters, add. All right. So this is better now. Are you hearing me? Finally. See? I was saving this, I was saving this mic for, you know, next year. You know, when I'm going to start to, you know, do more, you know. Um, hey, I just, 
I just um I just did a genjutsu on the microphone. That's all. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Nihum, it's okay, don't worry. You're okay. Alright, so I'm gonna retire the old mic. And um I wanna start to use this mic. <laughs> The old mic, the old mic is gone. Yeah. All right. So back to um question. No, I need to add it to all the different um, um locations now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one. This is our. This um uh expensive mic I buy on Amazon, but. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know the brand. I just buying this is a. Uh, uh, let me see if I find it. F I F I N E. I never heard about the brand before. F I F I N E. Is it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, does he mic here? Now, look, you see it here. You purchase another variation one time. Yeah. So, what the price drop by? When I buy this, this thing was about 60 US by. We. I think it had a, it had a newer version, yeah. Alright, yeah. It's the exact same thing. Watch it. Let's see. Is the purple one out? Haha. -ha. I'm not lying to you here. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, cool. All right, microphone sorted out. Back to the original goal of this live. Yeah, back to the original goal. Yeah. What was I saying? I was saying that, yeah. Was the um the SB right? Yeah, so that was the problem, right? So what um what Christopher said, Mr. William said, he said that for this part here with the um with the appropriate use of text and appropriate use of graphics, it's kinda it's kinda supposed to be um There's no standard, but it must have one at least one image and um text, style, font, anything like that. And the image must relate to the project. So if it's not relating to the project, and it must be placed to fit fairly into the web page. So you can't you can't you can't basically just drop a random picture inside here. That will that wouldn't work out too well. Right. Okay, cool. So that was one question. Anybody else with a question? Um, I was carrying mods to the beach. Yeah, I was, I'll I'll carry you and um, I will call for you to Gary one time. Easy. That's not really that's not an issue.
All right, yeah, back now. Sorry. Nah, it's cause when I go to different um, when I go to different scenes, I have to put back the mic. That's that's really the issue. Anytime I switch a scene, I have to make sure I add the mic to that um, to that scene, or else I don't know if all in all OBS does work and all streaming does work, but they are different. Every time I change to a different view, like if I change to this view, I have to make sure I have the microphone set up here. If I change to this one, I have to make sure the microphone is set up here because you have to make sure everything's set up in advance or else you'll run into problems. Doing things on the fly, it really, it really work out too well for you. It's not, um, it's not very, <laughs> it's not very friendly. You have to share all that. Right. Um, yeah, Nehem, right, I was trying to fix your problem. Nehem, click that. Um, where's the video for the for the Pascal by? Share, copy, right. Right, Nehem, that video up in the chat there. Um. Click that and you will learn the um you'll have the you will have all the information you need about Pascal there. Pascal programming. Well, Pascal for the SBA. You should be able to follow that. And if you don't have that, then you could go to the whole playlist, which is here. Yeah, this playlist here. Right, this is the full SBA playlist I'll send in here. Right, that one has every single every single video on the SBA that I've I would, I would have done over the years, well over the last year. So that should that should sort you out there. And yeah, all right. So like, I feel like I am. Um, yeah, unless anybody have any any other questions about um about the SBA again, I will I will pause there. And from next week, I feel I'll do I'll um I'll probably just start to work out another I'll um SBA or something like that. Not too sure exactly what I'm going to do from next week. I might start to do some work for people who do an IT in January, but I'm not too sure. Or I might actually start teaching teaching Pascal from start to finish. From the basics of Pascal all the way up, because Pascal is one of the languages that most people use in. Um, so I might do that. Then I might have to work on teaching C from start to finish. Then I might have to work on um teaching teaching databases from start to finish. All those different things. I have I have plenty of stuff to do, so so we are doing so I'll put a little I'll put a little poll on Instagram and see what people say. But if if people want Pascal, I'll do the whole of Pascal from start to finish because most children struggle with that. The problem is the SBA doesn't really focus too much on programming anymore. So, you know, it really not gonna make too much sense to not to put all that effort into the into the Pascal programming when they're probably not going to ask a question about it. Um was that Joe? Why don't you do pre-recorded videos? Um, because I don't have time to do pre-recorded videos. Basically, the only time I have to do anything for YouTube is when I go live. And um, doing a pre-recorded video means I have to take time, I have to sit down, and I have to edit it. But I don't know if you know how editing videos does work. It's not that... Um, it doesn't... <laughs> It's not that easy to do the footage, cut the footage, 
splice it, sync the audio and all that stuff. That's take long. I don't have that kind of time in my life because as soon as I finished teaching from school, I had to come home and teach lessons classes. And then like pre-recorded videos, you need to get time, you need to get a quiet place. And um, remember, I don't have an official studio yet. So whenever, whenever I do get an official studio, I'll be able to do pre-recorded videos because I'll have a quiet place all the time to do the, to do the videos. But that doesn't always happen. If I do pre-recorded videos, or you'll hear the TV playing in the background, you'll hear my children laughing, they play and they do all kind of things, and that really work. People who do pre-recorded videos, they have studios. But I ain't, I ain't big enough to have a studio yet. But it's coming, it's coming. Give it some time, give it some time. We'll get there, we'll get there soon. Okay. Um, I shall be ending the live now and thank you very much for your time, everybody. Remember to let people know that, um, those playlists exist and we will, we will bounce again next week. Bye-bye.